In the TIA portal project tree, expand the traces listing and double click add new trace. The new trace appears in the project tree. Double click to open it. In the trace configuration window, select the first element to monitor, a bit in this example. For the example, we will add some additional bit elements. Now we will add an integer element to monitor. When all elements to be monitored are listed, the sampling options must be configured. The example trace will be set to record every 100 cycles. Now we must define how we want the trace to be triggered. Click the trigger listing and set the trace to trigger on a tag for the example. The trace must be installed in the CPU it will run in. Click the icon in the main menu bar to install it. Confirm with Yes. Activate the trace by clicking the icon. Using the on-screen HMI, we will now trigger the trace to monitor the elements we have configured. Note the bit statuses and count values as the system operates. When the count is reset, the change is reflected in the trace. Now we will toggle the system on and off switch to monitor the associated bits. When the data collected is sufficient, deactivate the trace by clicking the icon in the main menu bar. The trace function has been configured and tested for monitoring both bit and value elements.